In life, every second counts. Every second is a potential joy. A memory in the making. Or a disaster that can be avoided. The number of deaths and injuries caused by car accidents in Qatar are shockingly high. The One Second brand was launched as a national program to help instill a culture of road safety to save lives and help people make smarter choices. Under the umbrella of the Ministry of Interior and the National Traffic Safety Committee, the brand has been successful in educating the general public about the importance of road safety and protecting the lives of young people Students for Road Safety is an initiative developed by Mersk Oil Qatar with the support of the Ministry of Interior under the One Second Umbrella and it has been established with a vision to educate and appoint Qatar's first generation of road safety ambassadors. The first driving simulator created in Qatar has been developed to put students in the driving seat, letting them experience firsthand just how dangerous the roads can be. What they're looking at now is they've realized that over 80% of the death rate in this country is below the age of 25. So they've got to look at ways to reduce that loss of life. What they've decided is we've got to hit the youth before they drive. The simulator itself is a very advanced uh, piece of equipment. Um, we've integrated an entire Range Rover Evoque um, cockpit from, from a real car. Um, so all the driver controls are integrated so that the, the person, the student, would drive the car in exactly the same way as they would drive it on the real road. Then you drive in a virtual environment. Um, so the virtual environment that you uh, are exposed to is, um, we call it 3D Doha, because we've gone and um, we've recreated uh, a number of kilometers around the Corniche with all the landmarks, Souk Wakif, the Amiri Diwan, and all those sort of things. So that's a relevant, realistic environment for, for students to drive in. I learned lots of stuff. I learned um, controlling speed can be really um, effective to what will happen if you like if you speed, you might get into a car crash. And we saw the different uh, speeds and how they affect the car. I think that the like the, the ways that can make the driving safer is not using your phone and always wearing your seatbelt even though you're at the back. And if, always a child has to sit in the back. But you can't sit in front because of the belt, it can break your neck. People shouldn't use phones at all in the car because they're like the main distraction. And uh, the roads can sometimes have like reminders for the people that are driving to like turn off their phones or to wear seat belts. It takes one second to lose a life. It takes one second to save a life. Your decision whether to step off the pavement and it takes a second to make that decision, but the consequences could be dire if it's done wrong. I've had just, just a, a student um, come out of the simulator a few minutes ago, um, and I asked him, so what do you think about uh, driving? Is it as easy as you thought? And he said, no, it's actually nerve-wracking, which is great because we want them to understand how complex it can be to drive in traffic conditions. I always thought it was, it was easy, just press the brakes uh, or gas, but there's lots of things I didn't know, and after I tried this, uh, I finally realized it. I believe that the message is starting to come across um, and students are getting uh, the point. So um, yes, absolutely, the, the, the signs are very, very positive already. The single seconds that make all the difference. It takes one second to make a good decision and one second to make a bad one. Students for Road Safety will continue to raise awareness and educate young people about road safety to help reduce the numbers of car accidents on Qatar's roads. Stay alive on the roads, it only takes a second.